So I have turned my felt balls into felt beads and made this um, necklace out of them. But before I put them on the necklace, I stitched into a few of them some interesting patterns um, just to add um, a different um, quality so you could have a mixture of non-stitched and stitched beads. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to stitch this little um, dash pattern here. So you'll need um, a needle with a sharp point and some embroidery floss. And you take your felt ball and I'm just gonna put it through anywhere on the felt ball once and pull it right through until my tail goes just inside the ball. Now that's in there. If you pull too hard, obviously it's gonna come straight out. We wanna kind of have that kind of tucked away in there. So don't pull too hard on your next stitch. So then I'm just gonna leave probably about half a centimeter and put it through again. And then bring my needle out and where I want my next dash to be. And that will make one little stitch. Perfect. Now don't pull too tight or distort the shape of the felt. And then now my needle is here. So I think, okay, leave half a centimetre and then pop it out there. And the dash is great because it's totally random. You just need to kind of do it by eye and fill in all the gaps and do your um, stitches in different kind of aspects as well. So pop that through there. You can see I'm just stitching all over until I'm happy with the design. So when you're happy with your stitches, do your last stitch and then grab that end, pull it really tight and snip it very close to the felt ball. Then hopefully that wee end will just disappear inside of your felt and you'll have no threads hanging off at all. And then you've got a nice stitched felt ball ready for your necklace. The second stitch I'm going to show you is these little crosses. So I've threaded up my needle again with embroidery floss, white this time. And I'm going to start off the same as before by just pushing my needle through anywhere on the felt ball, bringing it right through until my tail just disappears inside. Great. And it's kind of like the last one where we just do a wee stitch, but instead of pushing it out anywhere across the ball, you're going to bring it out right next to um, your stitch, so kind of at a wee diagonal like that. And that will then cross, put a stitch there, and you put it through, and that makes a cross in your felt ball. And then the next one, you will push to wherever you want your next cross to be. So I'll do you that again. So just like last time, making a stitch, but instead of pushing it out anywhere, we're bringing it out right next door. So next to the stitch, so the stitch is gonna be there. The needle is gonna come out here, just right next to it, kind of in the middle. And then it's gonna cross and go wherever the next stitch is gonna be. So just like before, when you get to, um, when you're happy with all the stitches, you're gonna just pull your last stitch through, pull it quite tight, snip it really close to the felt ball and then hopefully that end will just disappear and you've got a nice stitch bead. So the last stitch on the beads that I'm going to show you is this little star stitch here. See it's on either side and this one is the most complicated by far. You'll need some pins as well for this one and if you grab your felt ball and you're going to put eight pins around the side of your ball. So like one, two, three, four. Make sure that they're kind of similar um, around the side. Then five, six, seven, eight. So this just keeps you right where you're stitching. And then if you've got your needle with embroidery floss and you're going to bring it straight through the middle here. So in the middle of the kind of star. And let your tail disappear like before. And we're going to stitch down to each of these pins in turn. So I'll go to this pin and then I'm bringing it straight back up to that centre point there. Creating a stitch, bring it down to the next pin, 
then bring it right back up to that center point there. And this is creating little segments. So down to the next pin and just work your way around, bringing it up to that center point each time. Until you've got eight segments like that. And then you're going to take your needle right through to the other side, going right through the center like that. And then you're going to do your segments on the other side. And once you've done your eight segments on that side, you'll take your needle through to the other side again, straight through the middle. Feel it quite tight, snip it off there like that. And then you can take out your pins. you roll and you've got your segmented bead. Lastly, how on earth do you get your beads onto your cord? Well, I'm going to show you because you need to use your sharp needle and your large needle. Now this needle is sharp but it's not got a big enough eye for my cord to go through but this one's got a big enough eye but it's not very sharp. It's totally blunt on the end. So if I pick up my bead, whichever one it is, and I'm going to put my cord to this way on this one. I'm going to point my sharp needle through and I'm going to wiggle it, making a hole. I'm going to put it through the other way. Wiggle it. And then if you take your fat needle and pop it through, Pull your cord through. Now this does take a bit of brute force sometimes and sometimes it's good to even have pliers on hand so you can pull and there we go. That is through. You can do the same on your other beads so pop your sharp needle through, give it a wiggle do the other way, give it a wiggle your sharp needle through. There we go, there's my blunt needle through. Grab your pliers if you have some or just use brute force. Pull that through. And there's your beads.